and welcome back to my book wrap up for July and it is a little bit late because I actually thought you know what am I going to do a wrap up or am I going to combine two months because I didn't have a very good reading month again and oh it's kind of annoying because I keep thinking yes to this is going to be the month you know and then no no it's not so basically this is kind of around about what I read in July and the worst part of the situation is actually is that July started off so well I basically read three books and then a smidgen um, and I read three books within the first week um, of July so I thought oh this is going great you know uh, each book took about two days to read I thought you know I'm gonna get loads read in July and then July just got busy and then other things happened and then no no reading happened and I was like oh okay um, so I've decided that I am definitely more of a winter reader uh, in the winter I feel like I can read more than I can in the summer um, I don't know why that is I think maybe I'm just busier in the summer and you know, I'm doing more th I know people read outside, I don't really read outside myself and I don't read on holiday and stuff, I usually do things on holiday so I feel like I'm definitely more of a winter reader and that's maybe the problem but um, you know, I'm still glad with what I've read and everything that I did read I really enjoyed so I'm not going to uh, beat myself too much up about it next month I'm going to just gonna aim for four books because it's August and August is a busy month so I'm going to aim to read four books and hope for the best um, so if I ever don't do a wrap up I probably will get to one at some point and just combined months. Um, but anyway, the first book that I read, I won't talk too much about because I've already done a review of it, <clears throat> and it is Alabama Moon by Watkey, and I read this for the Act Out Games book club, which I love, um, and I'm going to read the book for, well, the book technically is for July, but I read this one in the first week of July, as I'll read the next one in the first week of August, which is this week, um, you know, to because then it's fresh in my memory uh, for when I do my review for the time that you know the reviews go up so it's just easy that way for me um, but yeah I really enjoyed this I gave it 4 stars, I'd like to check out the movie as well I did a whole review of it but yeah I definitely recommend this book it's great, it's about this boy who kind of has only ever known living out in the forest and then right at the beginning his dad dies he's kind of on his own he's got to figure out how to live and it's, it's really great, I really had a good time reading this one so yeah definitely recommend Alibaba I mean, but like I say I have uh, done a full review on that one Okay, the next one I read, I know a lot of people are loving it at the moment and the trailer's been uh, released and the movie's been announced and all great stuff like that and I can't wait to see the movie. Now that I've read the book, I enjoyed the book a lot, I'm a big fan of space, I love space books or sci-fi books or whatever, but yes, it is The Martian by Andy Weir and I hope that's how you say his last name. And I loved this, again, I read it in like two days, it was kind of a different book for me to read, um, not, not really in terms of subject matter but in terms of the way that it was written. Um, it was it was very interesting written, it was very kind of um, heavy on um, science and maths and stuff and I, I actually really really found myself enjoying that which surprised me. At first I thought oh am I going to like the way that this is written but I did, I really really enjoyed it. It really surprised me, it had me on the edge of my seat, I gave this book four and a half stars and yeah I mean who hasn't said fantastic things about this book, I don't know, it's a great book, I'm sure you know about it, it's about this guy who gets stuck on, what's his name, um, oh my gosh Daniel what, no. Watney, what's his name, my first name, um, oh my god, Watney, what's his first name, I know his last name's Watney, uh, I can't think of his first name, it was, well it's a month ago now since I read this book, I read it at the beginning of July, but, uh, what is his name, that's going to really drive me insane, I'm going to have to look as soon as I finish the video, but I don't want to, you know, What's his name? I don't know. Anyway, um, he was such an amazing character. Uh, the main character of the book, the guy who's stuck on Mars, is a fantastic character. He was funny, he was witty, he was smart. I loved him. That's kind of really what made this book great for me. I mean, you'd hope so. It's kind of a what based on him. And he was fantastic. I just loved him. If you haven't read this book, I definitely recommend it. I think everybody can enjoy this. And I just... I just enjoyed it so much. I definitely can't wait for the movie and I really hope that they do it justice. Uh, I think it's Matt Damon who's going to be playing our main character and yeah I, I loved the main character in this movie so I really hope he kind of brings the sense that I got from the character to the movie because he made me laugh. This book made me laugh out loud and you wouldn't look at this and think it's going to make you laugh out loud but it did. It made me laugh out loud and I loved that. It did everything. It had me on the edge of my seat. Made me it was just ugh, it was great. Loved The Martian. Um, the next book I read I also loved and that was um, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I know a lot of people have read this book and honestly I was a little bit apprehensive. I don't know why. I can't give you a reason but I was and I ended up loving this. You know what? I gave it four stars but thinking about it, um, you know, thinking back on it, I'd give it four and a half. It was so interesting and in terms of the fact that it was set in the 80s? 
1986. Um, so it was very much based around music and comic books and I'd read this again soon as well um, because it was just so cute the little relationship they had it's about this, these two um, kids Eleanor and Park and the relationship that they formed together but I just loved it it was so sweet and their own little storylines were brilliant I mean Rainbow Rowell's a fantastic writer I loved Landline as well so I can't wait to read her other books I have Fango but I need to get um, attachments uh, and what else has she written? I don't know, but I'll read Fangirl next um, out of hers. But yeah, Eleanor and Park, I loved it. I gave it four and a half stars. Like I say, I loved the um, connection to music that this book had and to comic books uh, because I love music and comic books. There was loads of music in this book that was mentioned that I, I loved and that made me very excited and it, it was just great. Definitely, definitely read Eleanor and Park if you haven't already. Um, also, I liked the ending. Um, I mean, I don't know whether people, some people do, some people don't, but I liked the ending. I liked that. Um, yeah, I just overall I really enjoyed Alan Park. I was on a great reading kick and then I kind of stopped reading then. <laughs> so I read that book and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah it was great. And I didn't really read. And then at the end of the month, um, so then I didn't read for like two weeks. And then the final week of the month, I actually picked up a book that I've been really excited about. But I just haven't had the time to get into it. But I am really enjoying it from what I've read so far. I've only read about 50... Uh, yeah, 50, 60 pages of it. And it is Sky on Fire by Emmy Laybourne basically this is the second book in the Monument 14 um, trilogy and I loved Monument 14 and I'm not saying I'm, I'm really enjoying this one it is just it takes me right back into how Monument 14 was it's exactly kind of I don't feel like you know there's been a big there's not been a time change you see and that's what I love and also there's something in this book that they've added that wasn't in the last book and I think it does add a lot to it I think as I get into the book I might even end up enjoying this one more and I really enjoyed it enjoyed it that's never been a word i really enjoyed monument 14 so uh, i can't wait to get into this but like i say it's just been i've just been busy and reading has kind of just whew, slipped aside but i will finish this soon um because i definitely can't wait and when i'm reading it like i read the first i mean it's i know it's only 50 pages but i read them just you know in the one go it wasn't like i was just like reading a little bit here or there it wasn't like the book was dragging it was just me personally um uh, but yeah so i am enjoying this i will be talking about it in my august wrap up hopefully if i read four books which i am aiming to i know that after this i'm pretty sure i'm going to read lorelei because i was supposed to read that this month and then yep yep um but yes that's what i read so really i overall enjoyed everything because everything was great this month so that's good even though i didn't read a lot i i enjoyed a lot so this is what i read wrong way around this is what i read except for not really the fourth one because i hadn't read much of that i mean look just a little smidgen, but it's okay, you know, it's summer, that's, some people read more in summer, I think some people read less in summer, I'm definitely a read less in summer, but until then guys, I will see you next time, comment down below if you've read in these books, let me know what you read in July, did you have a good read month, did you not, let me know, thumbs up if you enjoyed these wrap ups, until then, I will see you next time, thank you for watching, goodbye!